Hello students, today we are going to study uh, one drug from fluoroquinolones class. So, the name of the drug is ciprofloxacin. In this particular lecture, we are going to study uh, IUPAC name and synthesis of ciprofloxacin. So let's get started with the structure first. Ciprofloxacin is a drug of fluoroquinolones class. So fluoroquinolones, they have a general structure of quinoline 3-carboxylic acid the structure of ciprofloxacin. We'll number first. This is the number numbering. Now we'll write down the IUPAC name of this particular drug. Now I have told you that this is of the class fluoroquinolones. And here, the root name is, this is the quinoline nucleus. The root names, we are going to consider this as a root. So, for IUPAC, we will write down the root name first. That is quinoline 3 carboxylic acid. This is the root name. Quinoline nucleus. At the third position, we have carboxylic group. Now, while writing the IUPAC name, now we will consider the different substituents attached to the nucleus, to this particular nucleus. So, the first substituent at the first position is first position cyclopropyl group. Then, fourth position, we have a oxo group now we can see that one of the hydrogen from nitrogen here and one hydrogen from here is replaced by these two groups that is why we write down this as 1 4 di hydro then we have a sixth position fluoro group and seventh position we have a piprazine ring piprazin ring. Now this piprazin ring is now in a substituent form. So instead of piprazine, we will write down this as piprazinyl. Also this piprazin ring is attached at the first position. So this becomes seventh one piprazinyl. First position of the piprazin ring is attached to the seventh position of the so now uh, we will arrange all these substituents in an alphabetical order to this root name. So first is 1 cyclopropyl. This is the first substituent. Then F comes after it. So that is why we uh, will write down 6 fluoro. After that, 1,4 dihydro, here we will consider this dihydro, then 4 oxo, 
सेवन पोजिशन वन पिपरा जिनल क्विनोलिन थ्री कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड दिस इज अवर आई पैक नेम Whenever we study synthesis, we should first draw the structure of a drug. Now we are studying ciproflavonoids, so let's draw the structure of drug. So this is our structure of ciprofloxacin. Now, why to draw the structure first? Because many times the structure gives us the idea of a starting material. Now here, this particular structure is our starting material. I'll draw the structure of the first starting material. This is our starting material. The name is 3-chloro-4-fluoroaniline. This is one our one of the starting material. The other starting material is. next starting material is a modification of malonic acid the structure of malonic acid is h2 cooh cooh now we have to modify this structure and this way we have a second uh, starting material which is going to react with this so the name of the starting material is diethyl ethoxy methylene malonate now diethyl we are going to replace these two hydrogens with ethyl group so this comes out to be diethyl malonate now the thing left is ethoxy methylene group so again this two these two hydrogens they are replaced with one ethoxy group and to one side it is methylene so this is our other starting material that is diethyl ethoxy methylene malonate now the first step is a condensation reaction wherein c2h5o from here and one of the hydrogen from this amino group is lost so we we'll have here minus of c2h5oh a condensation reaction and we get an intermediate so here we have ch nh which is attached to ch now then we have a double bond c so here it is a double bond c to one side there are two c o o c2 h5 this side it is this way and here we will write down c double bond o o c2 h5 the next step is a cyclization step 
we need to form this cycle the second cycle so in the presence of diethyl ether c2h5 from here and one hydrogen from this particular carbon is lost so again there is minus of c2h5 oh and we get finally a cyclic product this way now the next step is again we know that we have a propyl group here at the first position so we'll add propyl group we we'll use for that a propyl chloride minus of hcl will take place one hydrogen from here cl from here and a condensation reaction again we have an oxo group and first position cyclopropyl group is added now in the next step we need a carboxylic group at this position and since this is an ester we can easily hydrolyze this third position first with base and then with water so minus of c2h5 oh again and we get our structure this way f c l here n a cyclopropyl group here there is a double bond there is a oxo group and carboxylic group at this position now lastly we need a piprazine ring at the seventh position so to continue here we will take a piprazine nucleus and there is minus of hcl hcl one hydrogen from here and chlorine from the sixth position seven position sorry is removed and we get the final structure of ciprofloxacin This is our ciprofloxacin. Now, from the name also, we can identify the structure. You can see here, cyclic propyl group is there in the structure. Then, FL stands for a fluorine group in the structure. Then, OX. stands for a oxo group in the structure there these are some hints from which we can identify the structure from the name thank you so much if you like my video share and subscribe